ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I have to say welcome. I'm so happy that I am filming this video for you guys and you guys are here watching this video, which is super awesome. So if you are here, it's because you know that this video is all about faith planning and I wanted to share with you guys everything from the beginning of my faith planning journey for 2020. So if you guys want to see an inside look at my planner, how I'm going to do the faith planning, or maybe if you're here for the first time and you really a little confused to what faith planning is, then I will be more than happy to clear out all those doubts and all those questions you have. But first, you have to keep on watching. <laughs> So let me introduce you to my new faith planner. So a lot of you guys were asking me if I was going to be faith planning this year. And after careful consideration, a lot of thoughts and a confirmation, I decided to get back into faith planning this year. But it's not going to be as hardcore as I wanted it to be two years ago. It's just going to be a little bit more easy, a little bit more like just enjoyable. So... I actually got inspired to get back into faith planning or faith journaling, how anyone can call it, um, after watching Erica Cannant. Um, hopefully, I'm saying her last name correct. I'm going to leave her YouTube and Instagram down below. She has amazing spread of faith planning. She walks you through what faith planning is, and she definitely gives you a motivation to start faith planning. So that is the reason why I'm bringing you guys this video today, and also because I'm so so ready to dive into this planner, but I didn't want to dive in and start using it yet without doing a pretty much an unboxing, a first impression or whatever it is about this planner. So faith planning, guys, it just goes a lot of ways. It's just pretty much a way of you connecting with God um, and kind of like studying the scriptures at your own pace, at your own level and how the scriptures work for you and how God speaks through you to you through the scriptures. Um, a lot of people use it as journaling. A lot of people use it um, different ways, but it just has one, one concentrated meaning and it's just getting your life closer to God and understanding his scriptures a little bit deeper and getting just that connection with him. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the faith planner. This is a new faith planner for 2020 um, that the Happy Planner came out with. And I I know there's another planner also. Um, I think it's the one that Erica uses, but this is the one I found is the undated one. But I haven't dived in here, so I'm not sure. So let's dive into this planner. Um, I love the planner because one thing is undated. So um, I can use the most out of this planner right now. Instead of starting in January, I'm actually going to start in February. So I get like a little extra month out here. So I love that. So let's remove this. This planner, um, it was very hard to find. They do have this one on their website, but I tracked it down at Joan Fabrics and I found it and I used my coupons and I got a very good deal out of this planner. I love this planner has the rose gold um, plastic discs and I was just like, okay, I love it. I love the rose gold deep, um, accents on it and I just, I'm obsessed with how beautiful it is. Um, this one is uh, Psalms 96.1 in the King James Version. And then when you open her, of course, you have um, the Welcome to Your Happy Planner. Oh, I just broke that. The Welcome to Your Happy Planner note by the beautiful team. And then let me just... All right, so let's get started. All right, so this is a, so a beautiful. Um, it has also the month in uh, rose gold foil, which I thought that was very, very pretty. And then here has, um, of course, for you to write it, this is the Happy Planner Faith Edition. I'm not sure, I don't, don't quote me on it. I will look at it, I'll look at it. I think this is the Faith Edition. I don't think this is the Psalms Edition with Hannah Joyce hand lettering, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna look into it and at the end of the video, I will, um, I'm sorry, at the bottom, I will put if there's a difference between the both. But anyways, they're both faith planners, they're both hand lettering and they're both beautiful. Then um, we jump into the monthly layout. It gives you a, a month and then you can put the year. So you have here month and then you put the year. And then um, it has uh, your Sunday through Saturday uh, layout, like a normal. And then here you have the normal 
vertical layout. And what I saw difference between this planner actually and the Hannah Joy hand lettering planner, Psalms planner, I'm actually now getting into the thought of things. Okay, so the one that the one that Erica has is actually the Psalms planner by Hannah Joy, which has the hand lettering. This one I don't think it is, but it is still a faith planner. I see that the other faith planner I had three divisions so it had um you do the so it had actually the soaps method which is the scriptures the observation the prayer and i think is no i'm sorry the scriptures the observation the application and the prayer so you had them divided in through three sections the prayer was actually in the corner and then you had the scriptures the observation and the application this one you sort of just get like two um columns but you can just do whatever. Like I said, this is just something that is very you, very intimate, very personal, and you can do it the way you want to. Um, I, my preference, I would have enjoyed having the three columns, to be honest, because like that, it'll keep me from feeling stressed to fill out every single column. But like I said, this year, I'm going to take it slow and I'm just going to take it fun. So then over here, you have daily um, discipline. So you have prayer. I'm going to try to bring you guys a little bit closer. So you have a uh, prayer and then you have your reading for um, the whole entire week. And then um, a set, again here you have the Monday through Sunday. So every page looks uh, the same. We'll jump into um, the other month as well. This is very pretty. I love the gold, the copper. I'm going to say it's not gold foil to be honest. It looks like a little coppery. But it's just beautiful and then again we jump into the same thing um every month looks the same every month has a beautiful calligraphy um scripture or even a quote i don't think those are all scriptures they have quotes this is really pretty yeah they're like scriptures i'm sorry they're like quotes and they're all in hand lettering which is just amazing and i absolutely love how beautiful and simple and chic it looks so another thing i picked up and i was so excited that i was able to pick it up and i put it wrong because i wanted to see what's inside it this is a it's backwards guys i'm sorry this is a planner companion accessory folder it has a lot of cool stuff and it goes for this planner so i was like i'm excited that i picked up this planner because it says that it goes for this planner so i'm going to show you what's in here there's a couple of things in this packet which it was pretty pretty cool first off you get like a this is a wear this bracelet as a reminder of your faith and your journey with god it's a very pretty bracelet and then it has a one of those like the hearts i like the it looks like the discs and then it's just a very pretty um dainty neck uh bracelet which is pretty cool i'll wear it all right let me remove this because this is just driving me crazy all right, so this is the folder. This is what the folder looks like. And it's pretty cool because it is an actual folder. Like everything came in a fold, like this fold folder. And I just, I'm, I, I love it. What I'm gonna do to this, I'm gonna punch holes on this and I'm still gonna use this on the planner. So inside of this, you have a couple of cool things. In this little side, you have these three items. This is like a cool dashboard with the um, like sticky notes page flags so that's pretty cool and you can just place it on the planner like that and then you have this half skinny sheets which are the prayers and praises which is pretty cool you get to add it onto the planner and then what i loved about it was that it had a line paper this one says here is for journal so that's awesome you can just stick it on um, either create a different tab or create or put it right in the middle of your weeks what however you want you have extra extra line paper for the journaling and you have the prayer the prayer list or whatever you want to call it all right so on the other side this is what it found i found it very interesting i've never seen something like this in their collections all right so this here is says to be um a, like little journaling cards which i thought that was pretty pretty cool like where are we right here they're like little journaling cards it says be strong of good courage and then in the back it has like a bible verse it has like a bible hold on it's not so it has like a bible verse as you can see it has but they 
but it has Isaiah 40, 31. And they're just very pretty Bible journaling cards that you can use for your soaps or you can just have them as a like a weekly reminder and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. They're very, very nice. Um, I wouldn't know how to put it on the planner. Maybe I can just hold punch it because I do have the Happy Planner Puncher. So I can just probably do some punches and kind of just punch them in there or just kind of because I don't want to put I want to put tape on it because you won't be able to see either side. But I'll find a way of using this card. Then it comes with a few journaling cards which is just freaking beautiful because I love putting adding on onto the planner so they have like the beautiful foil and then they're empty in the back so you can journal behind them you can write stuff in it which is so so cool so this is like all add-ons add-ons that you can put and then the last packet of paper that they have here is what is called the practicing spiritual discipline it says a scripture reading prayer worship scripture meditation um, evangelism, serving, learning, stewardship, and time money management, scripture application, fasting, silence, and solitude, and journaling. You can use this for any of it. But I see that in the back, it has reflections by grace. So it kind of has the same things from the beginning that I show you in the planner. So it kind of has like the same um, like questions or whatever, rejoicing in, opportunity to serve. And then in the bottom, it says singing praises and gratitude. So you have like a space to write your gratitudes and stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. You can just um, add it on. You can just probably use as prayer, a worship. Um, you can do a fasting one. You can do learning. You can do journaling, whatever it is. This is your pretty much, you're practicing your spiritual discipline. So kind of like, they're like practice worksheets. So when you get into the actual deal, you kind of have like reference to look back into. So this is pretty cool what it comes with. I'm going to probably set it up with you guys here on camera and fast forward. So, and I just thought that this was very, very cute. I'm trying to figure out how I can punch holes on this and still use it in the planner. So, all right, so what I'm going to be using the monthly layout for is going to be a Bible uh, verse a day. That's what I'm going to be using it for. So throughout the month, I'm going to go ahead and find a Bible verse. And I'm just going to go ahead and write it down, write the Bible verse down. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the monthly layout. So... And a little bit later today, I just got all the things to do. And I didn't want to make this video longer. But I will be doing another video this week on showing you how I prepare, like how I fill her in with the daily verses in the monthly view. And then I will definitely hop back in here and do another video and kind of go with you and walk with you on how I'm going to use the scriptures. I'm going to use the observation and application and how I'm going to use this layout. But right now, I just kind of set her up easily. I'm going to be printing out a couple of other things to add her here. I feel like with everything that's going to go into this planner, I feel like I'm going to have to put some expander disc on her. Or I can just kind of probably take off um, at least six months of the planner just to kind of have more space to deal with notes because I know that um, I'm going to put sermon notes um weekly i do have two services i go to during the week so i know that i'll be putting sermon notes as well um on the weekly spreads and it'll probably get a little bit bulky so i feel like i probably would have to take out at least six months of the planner so um it fits everything in here but there it is guys this is the faith planner 2020 undated in the beautiful flower botanical um rose gold um 
accents. And as you can see, I used the same folder that I bought and I just put the holes on it. Um, I actually did break it, as you can see, because it was not going to fit into it. So I did break it and did holes and I kind of have, and now, now I have a cute little folder in the back to put um, the notes and whatnot. So yeah, guys, there you have it. This is going to be my faith planner along with, I'll use this book for now, but they do have beautiful um, faith planner uh, sticker books that go with this. But as of right now, I'm going to use this one and then I'll move on to the other one. But anyways, guys, if you like faith planning and you want to join this journey with me, I'll be more than happy to do it alongside with you and show you that you don't have to have perfect hand lettering, you don't have to have perfect drawing skills to Bible journal or to faith plan or whatever it is. It's just something that is very intimate, it's very you, very God, and you're just going to just dump it in here. And yeah, guys, so if you like this type of video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my planning account. I'll leave it down below as well. And as well, I have a little sticker shop that you can per, uh, purchase things as well for your planner. I will leave all that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for sticking till the end. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.